Okay, everybody, welcome back to the crypto asset learning course. And what we're going to do here is um, show you these two websites are where you can find what coins and what tokens and what assets are available out there for the most part. Okay, so this top one is the one I currently like. And this bottom one was, used to be the best one, but they were bought out by um, a private uh, uh, exchange, which you'll learn about those later. But the exchange bought it, and it's private, so they're a little bit biased, so this one kind of keeps them in check. So what we're going to do is we'll go over here and show you. Uh, this is the one I like, and this is the one we used to like. That used to be like the only one. I think he sold it for $200 million to uh, this website to to uh, Binance. Uh, Binance is this company right here, Binance Coin. Binance Chain was the one who bought this site that's called Coin Market Cap. So it's kind of a you know a biased thing for them to own uh, and tell you the prices and all this information about that particular coin. So it still works. It's pretty good. It's not bad, but this one kind of keeps it in check. And I use this one mostly. So we're going to go through these top bars, which are very cl close to the same on both websites. And I want to explain this to you. So what you have is this whole list of coins or tokens or assets. And number one is the biggest one, Bitcoin. It's been around the longest. Current price, 31869 And then in the last 24 hours, this is how much has been traded in just Bitcoin. And then the market cap, which is like the total value at this price times the amount of coins there are, which we'll show you in a few minutes, is this price. So we'll flip over here to see. So this one's a little bit different where it has a circulating supply uh, that says 18,759,000 uh, uh, Bitcoin is, is the val uh, how many there are right now. And then you can click on each one of these like this and open up in a new tab or whatever and then you can see just the Bitcoin information so this is just about Bitcoin and currently with this price of uh, 31,809 uh, at 18 uh, thousand 18 million seven hundred fifty nine Bitcoin that's how you get this market gap all right and then the amount of uh, Bitcoins that ever will be is 21 million so there's 18.75 million already mined out of 21 million and we'll get into mining and stuff a little bit later but mining is just similar to gold and silver where it takes work to get them so bitcoin is one of the mineable that have to be mined uh which is an algorithm on the on the uh, uh computers that causes only at this point about 900 bitcoins a day is all that can happen all that can be mined and so this number will slowly go up until it has 21 million and that number won't be hit until about 120 years from now this is 2021 and it's like 2140 is when the last bitcoin will be mined so back to what we were talking about here um each one of these coins has uh all that data that like this one where we just went and looked at bitcoin has all that data now to go over this top bar here, there's uh, on this particular website, there's 10,939 of these these assets listed. On this website, there's only uh, 8,545 uh, listed. So the numbers are going to be a little different because of that. Okay, exchanges, they've listed 482 exchanges. And these are 385. What an exchange is, is something like this Binance. If you go to Binance, and we'll do it later in a video, but Binance is where you can change exchange like Bitcoin and trade it for Ethereum or for any of these other coins or lots of them. Okay, that's what an exchange is. And the market cap, this is the total market cap. So if you take all these market caps and you add them up, all 10,939 on this website, you'll come up to 1.289 trillion. Okay. And then in the last 24 hours, all of the websites had 56 billion worth of volume with trading. And now Bitcoin being the biggest one, you can see its market cap is almost 600 billion, which is 46% of this total. Okay. 
and then Ethereum, which is the second biggest. And this is, it's also, I guess, an asset is, is what you'd call it. And then it has 17% um, of the total. And then this website does the same, but the numbers are a little different because there's there's a couple thousand less websites and, and some of them are, you know, maybe bigger and so on. But this number is 1.3 trillion, whereas this one says 1.289 trillion. So they're always pretty close and uh, depending on, you know, what's going on. So they just like that. All right. Now, if you want to uh, a little bit of history is basically Bitcoin was first. OK, 2009, January 1st, 2009, it was created. And there's a thing called a white paper, which just tells you all about it circulate it all over the internet and say hey we j i just created this new money uh and um somebody by the name of satoshi nakamoto whether it's a person or a group of people doesn't really matter they they nobody knows who they are so but in any case the the point of bitcoin is is it was like put in the core of the internet so it can't be deleted it can only certain changes be changed by the group community and you can learn more about that in the future as well but what we're going to do now is let's say you want to buy your first time you want to buy a cryptocurrency most people are going to come here and they're going to buy bitcoin because it's number one it's the biggest it's the oldest it's got the most security everything okay and that's what you really want to do and so we're going to focus on bitcoin and ethereum uh mostly uh, and then we'll go into the wallets and show you how you get a wallet and how you get this Bitcoin into your wallet. So how, how does it become yours? All right. So that's what we're going to do. And hopefully you learned something on this video.